side matters. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> what's the situation with the with, with personnel, centre halves wise? Are you down for bare bones or? Uh, well, obviously Robert Hoot's uh, still unavailable. Uh, Ryan um, hasn't trained yet. We're, we're going to give him as long as we can. Um, but he, he'll, get, he'll get a fitness test tomorrow in the morning. Because um, obviously we, we need to know quite quickly. Um, if, if he's not available, then we've got to obviously uh, rearrange and, uh, and make changes. So uh, he's a doubt at the moment. Um, Peter Crouch had a an issue with his, with his groin as well. We're hopeful on him. Uh, Johnny Walters um, should be okay. He had an issue with his uh, with his ankle. Um, but apart from that, the Ryan, Ryan Shawcross is, is the one that we, we have a real doubt about. Uh, we've got lots of games coming up. Um, if it means that uh, he just misses this one, then we we have him for for the full Christmas period um, and beyond. Then then so be it. But um, We'll give him as much time as we can to, to give him an opportunity to play tomorrow. I know you have looked at the video of Villa against Manchester United last weekend. David Moyes said that he thought Villa were kicking some of his players all around the park. I mean, did you think they were particularly aggressive? No, not particularly. Um, I think they, they were trying to compete. They were up against the top side as we found ourselves um, on Wednesday nights. And yeah, they were just trying to close people down and, and get close to them. Sometimes, uh, when you're up against top players, they're, they're a little bit sharp and a little bit quick to the ball, and, and you can you can concede fouls. But no, I didn't see anything in that play that deemed um, incorrect. Uh, I think they were, as they've always been, as to both sides, they've, they were trying to be competitive on the day. Christian Benteke this time last year burst onto the scene and had a phenomenal first season in the Premier League, 19 goals. Is this the dread of all top strikers when? You get the sort of yips when you because he doesn't, he hasn't scored for I think in 11 hours and 59 minutes. 59 minutes. Which one attempt thing then? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, it's maybe the, the second season syndrome, it's all those old cliches, but uh, uh, it's probably a consequence that uh, he burst on the scene and not too many of us knew too much about him. And, uh, and he's an outstanding football player and um, it's taken a little bit of time. For everybody to come to terms with his ability and what you do to try and stop his effectiveness. So uh, maybe he's, he's suffering a little bit from that. Um, but he's a quality player, and you know, at some point that uh, he'll start scoring again. I think there was some suggestion that he, he might not play, or he might be dropped. But I wouldn't take too much stall in that, to be perfectly honest. So uh, he's a good player, and he's pivotal to tell they, they want to play. He's a, he's a focal point, and even if He's not scoring, he's, he's certainly still of value to, to Aston Villa's team, so that's why he's remained on the side of it, I would think. He's been described as a lion playing like a pussycat. Well, I don't know about that. I, I just think yeah, he playing, he's a young striker. Um, and he's got burst onto the scene in the Premier League, um, but there's some intelligent professional footballers in the Premier League and they learn very quickly. And, uh, then. You have to sometimes adjust your own game, so maybe he's going through that at the moment. But uh, he's a quality player, and it's going to be a matter of time, I'm sure. Stoke normally do very well against Villa, but last year uh, Matthew Lowton, Wonderful, so, uh, en ended all that at the Britannia Stadium. Uh, fans will want some sort of revenge because they they like to get the uh, the up on the, the, the people from Broome. Yeah, it's it's an important game for us. We, we're on a decent run in, in the Premier League. We. Uh, we were disappointed midweek to, to go out of the League Cup, obviously, but um, as it seems at the moment, these games one after another in short, uh, short succession. And um, once again, we've got an opportunity to to play a game and, and get over the disappointment of midweek. And it's, it's a big game, Villa, are a big side in, and a big team in, in most people's eyes. So uh, uh, we want to continue our decent form in the Premier League and uh, keep our home form going, which is good at the moment. In the league, so um, we just make sure we uh, we start hitting uh, the performance levels that we've done for most of the season. Cheers, man. Okay. Man. Stephen Iden can't play this weekend because no. he's against his his home club, his parent club. What do you think of that? Um, well, it's, it's understandable to to a certain extent. I think in the past uh, you had to actually 
put it in the contract. Some, sometimes some clubs used to forget to do it and it's a little bit embarrassing for them, but I think it's actually a, a league rule now, so uh, uh, nothing can happen anymore. So it, it's probably uh, the correct thing to go about. Um, obviously, Stephen's done really well for us, but uh, he's still an Aston Villa player, so they're well within the rights to, to, to expect him not to play against them. He is a Villa player, but on this occasion, he's probably not a Villa player who's going back, which often happens with younger players. Which, you know, you could move the goalposts a little on this one. Well, uh, there's nothing we can do in, the, in that regard. He's done very well for us, and, and we're pleased with what he's producing. Uh, he's our contract at the end of the year, so uh, it'll be a conversation for then, I'm sure. But um, um, it's fair to say, I don't think Stephen thinks his future. Uh, lies at, at Aston Villa, I think that's fair to say. Um, and he will be, I would imagine, uh, moving somewhere. Uh, ideally, ideally it would be us. And just, if Ryan is unfit, you've got a few options, can you just spell out those options for us? Yeah, well, I've got, I've got a number of options, but it's uh, I've got to be uh, uh, conscious of what players have played and, and who's most comfortable in in the positions that need filling, so uh, I've got a few things to to look at and a few, a few things to uh, mull over, um, but you wouldn't expect me to, to go through all the options here and now, would you? But uh, um, I've got good options, and I think that's the important thing. Um, if Ryan doesn't make it, I've still got good options that will enable us to, to be nice and solid. Okay. Mark, sorry. <laughs> Any idea when, when Robert might be back? Um, no, not at the moment. Um, he did really well the uh, first couple of weeks. Um, his progress has slowed a little bit um, just this last week. So uh, we've <coughs> just got to make sure we're going at the right pace um, and, and we're not going to obviously push Robert too hard. We need to make sure that uh, the knee's responding well to, to the work that we're giving him. Uh, and we just need to step it up as and when we see fit uh, medical staff are doing a great job with him and uh, he'll be back as soon as he can um, but I said a week or so ago that uh, obviously Mark Wilson's come in and done really really well so we can afford Robert more time than possibly we, we thought we'd, we'd have to. Yeah because I guess when, when the games come thick and fast there's always the temptation isn't there? Yeah he, he won't be involved in the, in the Christmas period it's fair to say that. Um, you just mentioned Stephen Island there. Have, have, has there been any, any talks or anything about where his future might lie? He might be coming here? Um, only in passing. There's not been no official talks as yet, but uh, um, Stephen's enjoying his time here. Um, he's got a decision at the end of the year, obviously, that uh, he'll want to know where his future lies. Um, so it's up to him to keep on playing well and uh, impressing everybody here, which he has done up, up to this point. So it's fair to say that if he, if he keeps playing like he has, then he'd be somebody that you, you'd like to keep? Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah. Well, so. you've got um, quite a hectic Christmas period coming up, and you've got some quite difficult teams with Newcastle and Tottenham and Everton. How important is it that you get the three points on Saturday at home? Well, it's a home game, and uh, the home games and home form will, will be crucial uh, for us this year. Um, so. We want to be positive, we want hopefully to get maximum points because that's the order of the day. Um, yeah, we, we have got difficult fixtures, but that's the Premier League for you. Eh? Almost every every week or every other week you're going up against top, top teams and, and it's a challenge, but that's that's why there's such a focus on the Premier League because of the quality of teams. Um, so yeah, we've we've got key games coming up, um, but home form will be, will be crucial for us. Have you got a number of points maybe that you'd like to get over this Christmas period? Um, we we set ourselves targets and we, we, have, we have a figure uh, in our mind what would be uh, a decent figure for ourselves. Um, we're, we're doing okay in, in terms of targets we've set ourselves and, and where we want to be at the end of the season. So uh, uh, we're quite comfortable in terms of points accrued at the moment. Um, but the only disappointment is that we, we feel we probably should have had more than, than we've actually got because of some of the performances of a warranted more points, but um, we're okay at the moment, we're, we're ticking along nicely. With this manager merry around that we seem to be on at the moment, is it a good time to play maybe teams like Tottenham over the Christmas break, if they're in second? Um, who knows, uh, difficult to call that one, they, they, they may very well have a new manager in place by the time we, we go there, they may not, and 
they might keep uh, Tim Sherwood in, in the position for a little bit longer. I don't know. I don't know what their intention is. Um, but we'll look. We'll look ahead. And in the following week after after the weekend, uh, the focus now is is on Villa, and then we prepare as we we know we must, and then we we look at the games that follow. Okay, I was going to say quick one. Um, uh, yeah, uh, the, the United game didn't go according to plan, unfortunately. But so one thing, the good thing that did come out was an impressive uh, performance by Jeff Cameron. Have you been impressed by uh, his performance over that on the right? Jeff's Jeff's done really well. Um, I think he's shown everybody that he's uh, an accomplished football player first and foremost, and he has the ability to play in different positions. Obviously, he's played mostly for me in full back position. I've done that very, very well as a real uh, part of our attacking threat as well, um, with his ability to, to join in uh, high up the field. So uh, he's done very well in that regard. So um, we're pleased. Um, but he has that versatility that he can play in a number of positions as well. Um, he can play at the back and play in midfield as well. He's played obviously this season with, with his national team in those back four positions, so he's quite comfortable there. Um, I could have made a change on the Wednesday in fairness and put him in the back four then, but I just felt it would have lessened our attacking threat and we were trying to get back into the game, so um, I wanted to keep him in that wider position. But uh, that versatility is great from my point of view because uh, um, I can use that and you know, sometimes you can move Jeff around and, and you know you're not going to lessen um, the ability of people in, in other positions uh, because Jeff can come in and uh, uh, make an impact to wherever you pick, you pick it. I was going to ask, you know, uh, it sounds like you, you can, might have to actually move Jeff into, into we might the centre. Yeah, we might have to. Uh, that's one of the options. But uh, uh, we'll see. Uh, we're still hopeful that Ryan will make it. Um, but if he has to miss out, then, yeah, like I said before, we've, we have got options that will keep us strong, I'm sure. Good luck, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>